Hey there all, craft beer lovers. Very much welcome to another beer review. The last beer review for the year of 2021 actually. Uh, and I picked out a special beer for this occasion because we're heading into New Year soon. In a couple of hours going to 2022. So I thought I would pick out a little bit of a special beer. And here it is. We're returning to Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, guys, out of Chico, California, in the good old United States. Taking a look at a bottle out of their Trip in the Woods Barrel Aged series. This is their Rum Barrel Aged Quad. There we go. Coming in at a big old hefty 1.9.4 fluid ounces or 750 ml bottle. Weighing in at a lovely 11.7% alcohol by volume. There you go, guys. Look at that. Barrel aged. Good stuff. Wooden cork and bird cage. Back here. Says uh, the classic quad in rum barrels is a nod to the great Trappist brewing of Belgium. Deep ruby brown in color. The beer is rich and full bodied with the with the familiar style's familiar dark fruit flavors, while the yeast creates a hint of spice, rum barrels impart delicate sweetness and complexity uh, to this beer that can be enjoyed today or cellar for years to come. They say, and I think this one is about a year old, been holding on to it, but enough with the talking guys, let's get that bottle cracked open and see what we are going to get. I'm excited for this one guys. So, there we go. I have tasted some another beer in this series. There we go. See uh, There we go. Right, good little smoke on that bottle opening. There we go. Let's crack it open and give it a pour. In a suitable glass, of course. There we go. There we go. Let's stop right there, guys. Right, look at that. So, what do we have? Nice presentation, I would say a nice fingers worth of a uh, tan colored head. Small bubbles on top. Looking good, look at that. That's a very, very dark beer. It's not totally jet black, but it's very, very dark. Dark brown. Can you hear the carbonation hissing and fizzing onto the nose? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I'd say it's a big old mixture of dark fruits. I would say. Oh yeah, kind of dates, raisins, figs. Honey. Toffee, caramel, fudge. Booze. Cherries perhaps in there. Yeah, it smells very, very nice, guys. Very boozy, with a spicy hint to it, but it's ever so subtle. Gets that's the rum. So with that said, guys, we will just have to dive in and see what we're going to get. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And that's a bit hot as well. Quite fiery and hot. Good deal of alcohol kick to it. Oh, you can feel it right away. Burning down the, you know, the pit of your stomach, down the throat there. You can feel it a little bit there in the stomach. Good deal of alcohol warmth to it. Uh, quite boozy. But that's to be expected. You do get a big chunk of uh, barreling in there. You get that woody barrel uh, taste. Uh, kind of a dry, spicy back end, I would say, to this one. Uh, again. I would say you get an initial uh, kind of taste of dark fruits, a little bit of that kind of dark cherries, dark berries overall, slight hint of toffee and caramel, 
Then it moves over to a kind of a yeah, spicy, dry, woody sensation that kind of dominates the rest of that flavor in there. I mean, yeah, it's very well made. You get a lot of barrel aging in there. Uh, for me personally, guys, I would have loved a little bit more emphasis on the rum uh, part, the rum sweetness, because a little bit of rum would have uh, added a little bit of that warm, lovely Caribbean spice to this. Uh, and it's not super in your face. I mean, there's a slight, slight spicy hint, uh, but it's ever so subtle. Let's go for the final sip, guys. Yeah, dark fruits, slight, slight dark fruits, hint of cherry perhaps, dark berries overall, slight hint of caramel and fudge. Then it moves over more into that kind of very dry, woody, a little bit spicy back end. For me, guys, uh, this is uh, another one in their series, barrel aged series, Trip in the Woods it's called. Uh, rum barrel aged quad ale aged in rum barrels 11.7% ABV it's got a big boozy kick to it uh, there you go big 750 ml bottle really nice stylish uh, label and everything I do like it I have tasted another one in this series uh, I have reviewed it but I don't remember as of now I think it was a kind of a uh, I think it was a Belgian style as well so it's a nod to the Belgian tradition made in the US of A by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Guys, for me, yeah, uh, it's not something that I would drink every day, but I mean, it's well made. I would have loved, uh, of course, a little bit more emphasis on the rum, to be fair. A little bit less dryness, uh, but hey, that's the way it is. Uh, it's very well made, so I'm still going to give it a 4 out of 5. But uh, yeah, it could have been a little bit better with a little bit more emphasis on the rum. But hey, there you go, guys. With that said, thank you very much. And I thank each and every one of you who have been watching the channel, commented and subscribing to the channel this year, 2021. And hopefully we will have a good 2022 with lots more beers and ciders and everything. Uh, and uh, yeah, have a good uh, New Year's Eve, everyone. Cheers and thanks.